Welcome to this tutorial on how to format, move, and delete subjects and dividers in Notability. As you can see in my library on the left-hand side, I have quite a few dividers. And the way I've decided to structure my Notability dividers is by school. So you can see I have high school, middle school, and then fifth grade up through eighth grade. So I do have one year of elementary school. And as you can see, when I tap on that divider, you can see I have all of my subject notebooks. So as I progress through my grades, obviously within each subject, there would be quite a few notes. Now, what I want to do now that I'm going to be entering high school is I don't want to remove all of these other digital notebooks. I wanna keep them, but I'm gonna nest them underneath middle school. So the way that I'm going to do that uh, before I do that, I'm actually going to show you what I would do to delete. So if I tap on the eighth grade divider and I tap and hold on that divider, you can see here I have the options to add a subject, add a divider, rename that divider, or I can delete it. Now I just want to show you that if I tap on delete, I receive a warning that says deleting this divider will also delete the subjects. So we want to be careful that we don't do that because we want to save our notes. It's always beneficial uh, to do that in, in case you want to refer back to uh, a previous school year. So my recommendation would be to save your uh, notes. So I'm going to hit cancel. And I can't change the color of my divider, but I can change and format the color of my subject. So I tap and hold on to science and then I'm going to tap on edit. And from here, I can change the subject name or the color. So this is where you would do that. And this is also where you would delete the subject if you wanted to. I can also lock that subject. And when I do that, I get a notification that is telling me Notability will use a single password for all your locked subjects. This password is synced across all your devices and you as the Notability user would create that password. I would caution you though, if you do that, you wanna make sure that you don't lose or forget or misplace that password. So I would, uh, me personally, I would keep that uh, lock off. So I'm gonna hit close and that is again, how we would format our subjects, rename them and lock. So if I want to move now eighth grade through fifth grade under middle school, what I'm going to do, this is a little bit tricky here, but I'm going to kind of push it to the right. This took me a few tries. And when I see that blue line appear, I'm going to release it. It may take me a couple tries, but let me try one more time. There we go. So again, this, this is a little um, sensitive but you're gonna move it, you're gonna see that blue line. Now I just nested it under eighth grade and I don't wanna do that. So again, this is where it's going to take maybe a few tries. I don't want seventh grade nested under there, so I'm going to move it over. I want it under middle school. Okay, so now it's under middle school. So again, this may take a bit of practice but now it looks like I get the hang of it. And now I only have two dividers because I've essentially archived all of my middle school subjects. So when I enter high school, Burlington High as a freshman, I can tap on high school. There's nothing there as of yet, but I would start the same process. I would tap the plus sign. I would add a subject. I can add English and then I'm going to be able to move that under high school. Or I would wanna add grades, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. So it's up to you. By the time you get to high school, you are more than likely going to have developed your own system of uh, organization in Notability, but hopefully this has given you some ideas on how you can get started by keeping yourself organized. So now you know how to format, move, and delete subjects and dividers in Notability. Thank Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for additional videos on Notability.